Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with two relatively small hauls. One is from Aldi and one is from Kroger, so I decided to um, do them both on the same video. So at Aldi, I spent 46 bucks, so I'll start out with this haul and then I will clear everything out, put everything up, and then show you what I picked up from Kroger. So the first thing that I was really excited about to get from Aldi is their candles. They had four cents, but these were the only two that I liked. Sweet pumpkin cake and pumpkin chai. Now I will say I am not a pumpkin spice girl at all, but these smell really good. And normally I don't like cake candles, but this one, the sweet pumpkin cake, actually does not smell like a cake candle. It has a really nice spicy scent to it and I really like that one a lot. And then the other one, which is my favorite, is this pumpkin chai. I happen to love chai tea and this smells just like chai tea. And honestly, I should have gotten another one of those candles. Another thing that I was really excited to see at Aldi were these diced tomatoes. I have not been able to find plain diced tomatoes in months and months. I got my four cans, I was really excited about that. And then I got the, um, the basil, garlic, and oregano. Now I've been able to find these. I just haven't been able to find the plain ones anywhere. I mean at Kroger, you name it, couldn't find it anywhere. Finally got these two giant cans of pinto beans. Every time I've gone to Aldi, they've been out and I was excited that they finally had them there. It's my Band-Aid, forgot that was on. And I found some blueberry preserves. I went to Kroger before I went to Aldi, could not find blueberry preserves at Kroger. They were sold out. Aldi had these, this for $2.39. My husband loves cinnamon uh, toast crunch cereal, but I've never bought the Aldi brand for him and I heard it was really good. This box was $1.39, so I'll see if he likes this. The famous red bag chicken, everyone talks about it. Some people say the meat tastes like Chick-fil-A, other people say it doesn't. I've never bought it before because it's always out whenever I go, but I finally snagged a bag and it was $5.99. We needed some shark cheddar cheese slices. I also grabbed some um, slow cooker liners and these were $1.39. I needed some green onions because I finally went through my stash of frozen green onions. Caesar salad, I'm gonna have a salad sometime soon, not sure when. I needed some cilantro for a recipe and I got some sandwich bread for grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch or um, to make patty melts. And then I was excited to find this. This is beef and broccoli. Now I have not had this one, but I have had this before and it's been probably a couple of years ago. I haven't seen it in a long time. So I grabbed two bags and I guess everyone else likes them too because I grabbed, I think there was one bag left of the lo mein. So I was happy that I was able to snag at least two bags. So this is all that I grabbed from Aldi. Let me put this away and bring out Kroger and I will be right back. So I am back with the Kroger haul. So before my um, rewards card, the total was $125. And with the rewards card, my total was 59 bucks. So let me show you what I got. So I picked up some potatoes because I've been craving potatoes and I've been making mashed potatoes. I've been wanting baked potatoes, etc. So got some potatoes, got some avocado for my husband. He loves avocados. He can eat them with anything. I got him a couple of zucchini as well. Um, I don't eat zucchini, but he likes them. They had these hot dogs on sale. Bogo, buy one, get one free. So I got the bun length um, beef. Gonna throw these in the freezer. They had butter on sale for $1.88. My husband likes salted butter, so I got him a salted. And I got me some unsalted for baking. I've been doing a lot of baking. This giant box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch was on sale for $1.99 with your card. Bush's baked beans were a dollar a piece. And so um, my husband really likes Bush's. I don't really care uh, whether it's store brand or bushes, but since he likes them, I got them. They were on sale for a dollar, so I got two black beans, two pinto beans. 
I'm almost out of cream of mushroom, so I grabbed two cans of cream of mushroom. Bush's baked beans were on sale too, three for five, but I just got one I didn't need. I think I have some more in my pantry. Um, I got Harrison a couple of baby foods. That is our eight month old baby. He's so picky. Uh, I'm not sure if he likes apple or not. So I just got one jar of that and then banana blueberries. I think he'll like that one. Um, cookie mixes and brownie mixes were on sale. Betty Crocker, buy one, get one free. So I got an oatmeal chocolate chip and I got a sugar cookie. I have a couple of recipes that I'm going to be trying out. Now, these were on sale. These were in the refrigerated section. These were on sale for a dollar a piece. I do not know why, but I am going to throw these in my freezer. They are the um, break and bake. You get 20, in, 20 cookies, so that was a great deal. Now, this was the only variety that was a dollar. All the other varieties were the regular price, so. And what I really went to Kroger for was ribeye and ribs. My husband loves steak and their ribeye was on sale for $4.77 a pound. So we got these huge ribeye steaks, which we'll be grilling out pretty soon. And then their ribs were on sale for $1.77 um, a pound. So grab some ribs. So the ribs were $5.47 and then the ribeye were $17.98. So this is it. This is my haul from Kroger and from Aldi. I hope you guys enjoyed these short fill-in hauls. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.